Welcome back, everybody, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. We are continuing our playthrough of Evil Genius 2. We are adding more and more traps uh, and just really, really enjoying it. Um, <laughs> you can see they're working great. And um, we have a lot more to do, actually, because uh, in the last episode, we saw that we can now start to almost research the spy eating Venus fly traps. And so we're going to hopefully get to that this episode. But first of all, let's capture these agents because they are, they have made it all almost all the way to our base. Um, let's see if we've got anybody else wandering around our casino. No, nope, the casino is hopping. That's generating some good income for us. Let's see. Let's continue to unlock new minion types as well. What are what are we doing here? We've got um, construct new criminal network. I probably need to build a training facility for the new minion type. All right, so we've got one of our muscle training to be a martial artist here with the various devices. <laughs> I like the I like the gong. That is funny. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what happens there. Um, Maybe that's the last station before they uh, graduate to becoming an actual martial artist. Oh my, they're hovering. Okay. So it's just a meditation spot. It focuses their, their energy, their chi. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of martial artist they are becoming, but um, a good one, hopefully. Here we've got, <laughs> we've got another minion uh, training to be muscle. So they will go on to graduate. Um into becoming a, a mercenary or a martial artist themselves. But we've got unlock new minion type, 10 of 12. I think this will be the 11th. Uh, and then finally, we will do, let's see, the counter agent. So this is interesting. A fresh approach is required. There are a number of promising candidates. Okay, so... Um, the forces of justice send their very best agents to your lair. If you want to train your own agents, you'll need to go out there and get someone uh, more, <laughs> someone more poorly trained. Okay, so um, that is the last minion that we have to unlock here. Uh, as soon as our martial artists are done training, where are your weapons? I am the weapon. What ammunition do you take? How do you? How do I reload you? Protein bars mostly. That's funny. Okay, so this is going to be our last minion side story here. We've just launched the latest propaganda campaign, third one today, actually. Excellent. Do the people love me yet? Not exactly. It would be easier to do this if you weren't so open about all these crimes you're committing. What are you saying? <laughs> what you're saying is I need to destroy the evidence, or better yet, leave no evidence. Okay. We need someone who thinks like the enemy, our own agent, able to cover our tracks before we even make them. All right, so we will jump onto the world stage and recruit a counter agent. Awesome. This is going to be good. All right, so I will <laughs> stop you or kill you, whichever comes first. So it looks like we've got somebody going to show up at our base. We'll slow things down here for a minute. Uh, make sure things are okay on the world stage. Yep, okay. So, let's see where they're going to show up. Looks like we've got some regular old agents trying to sneak in. Okay. Wonder, you know, we've got this door down here and I I don't know if people go in or out of it or not but it has always been a curio to me um, you know who uses that door and I assume it's us and maybe some of the agents but um, I don't know I don't know oh 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 what do we have here these are our hitmen awesome that's very cool all right Atomic Olga <laughs> is somewhere. Okay. Where, though? Did they come on the boat? Did they come on the boat? No, they they didn't come on the boat. Let's see. Where are they?
downstairs. Well, they're, they are doing something somewhere. Um, you are not stronger than my will to win. I will prevail. You know, we're fighting her somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, stuff is going down. Um, I don't know what happened. She showed up. Uh, I have no idea where she was. Uh, I guess our security was so good that it was handled, but um, I never saw her. So that was interesting. That was interesting. Okay, so we've got our counter agent. We will put them in the chair and uh, make some space for whatever training device we need for our counter agent. Let's see here. At the same time, we've got lots of other things here too. We've got refreshment bar, partially restores minion smarts and vitality. We've got um, our life drawing <laughs> and video games. Okay, so we'll probably have to expand uh, our minions relaxation area. We've got, what is this? Basic training level 101. Okay, improves workers smarts. Uh, medically, we've got the multi gym and the super serum machine. So this is for our muscle minions. Um, that's cool. Let's see. And then what else do we have here? We've got the coat rack. Should have a coat rack in uh, our medical facility somewhere. I don't know where. Let's see. Uh, right there. Um, and then we'll just move this but we've got to have a coat rack for all the medical coats that's funny all right let's see if we've got our counter agent training facility okay what does this look like i don't even know what is this is an outline of okay so it looks like there's different mannequins on tracks maybe um, I don't know. We'll get this built and um, let's make sure that we can build some counter agents here. Spin Doctor counter agent. Um, let's just do two of these. Probably don't need a lot of specialized agents. Okay, so we'll wait and see what this is. We've probably got a minion on the way ready to deliver the device. In the meantime, Let's have a look at the rest of our decor. Dumbbells. We should probably have dumbbells in here. Yeah. All right. We'll just put some right there. A towel rack. Sure. Let's put a towel rack in. Um, in terms of science, we've got the super computer. Okay. So this unlocked research options leaves the regular computers to the worker minions in the control room. This computer is super. It can do maths. Okay, so we'll probably need to have some of those uh, to do research at some point. Uh, let's see, we've got a new club rack. We've got uh, new stuff to put in our inner sanctum, which we should probably do. And we probably got lots of new decorations to put in our casino. Lots of plants. Yes, okay. All right, let's see. Let's see this in action. Um, Looks like we've got mannequins here, numbered one through four. Is anybody going to come get trained? Since we have some new science equipment, I'm actually going to expand our science area here. Our laboratory needs an update. So we will continue to grow this. Um, and it looks like the entrance to the third level of our void machine is right here as well, which is perfect. So uh, let's see, let's bring a corridor through here. And we will move science in this direction. We've got that new supercomputer that I'd like to install in our laboratory. So uh, we will go ahead and do that. Let's see, we've got whiteboards that need to be moved here. Um, but yeah, the the new supercomputers probably look pretty cool. How many whiteboards do we have? Four? All right, so we will relocate whiteboards and get some supercomputers in here. All right, 
let's let's drop a couple in confirm that all right so we are expanding our research facility i will continue to make sure that these are prioritized here um <laughs> i think this is probably my favorite uh, science device the impact analyzer the the science of smashing things together <laughs> at high speed i think that's just so funny um i think what's happening though is we are training a lot of our biologists into chemists i think and so it's probably why research isn't happening quite as quickly down here uh looks like we've got maybe somebody else on the way here but um yeah i think we we are uh, expanding our horizons as far as science goes and so um oh we've got just everybody looking into our science room that can't be sanitary let's put up a wall put up a wall right here all right and maybe we'll give them a door they haven't had a door this this whole time those, those poor scientists so uh, we'll put on a laser door because lasers are very sciencey um and um doesn't need to be too high level there okay nice yeah it, it would be cool to see the third level of this uh completed as well all right i'm gonna jump back upstairs here and um we should be able to hopefully soon train our counter agent uh and that'll be the 12 of 12 in terms of just the different minion types that we can unlock which would be great <laughs> that's that's oh uh, that's funny all right so he's um training with these different happy fun time chairs and we'll we'll let him at it but uh that should be the last uh person we need before we unlock um the next tier of research that we need to do uh we've got a few more biology uh training stations <laughs> i love those plants oh that's funny um because I guess my biology training stations actually burned to the ground too when we had some super agents show up. Uh, so our training facility should be fully operational now. We should have all of the different equipment needed to train all the different minions that we need. Um, I think, you know, there's so much consolidation that needs to happen now. We've got advanced lockers that we can continue to replace uh, older lockers with we can continue to replace our power as well. Uh, we currently have a surplus. There's probably more research yet to be done in terms of our gold storage. So there's just a lot yet to do. <laughs> oh, I love the traps. Uh, <laughs> who is this person? What is happening there? Oh my, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could watch I could watch these agents bounce around in our traps all day. That's just funny stuff. Um, <laughs> most folks don't make it to the to the fan. All right, here's our new minion. At last, I have my very own agent. Oh, how is the tables have turned. Say something, agent. Eagle to Sparrow, code word monarch in status green. I didn't understand any of that. Say something else. Monarch is status red. Repeat, monarch is status red. Situation, foobar, <laughs> need extraction root. Get out of my sight and do some espionage before you make me even angrier. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we completed that objective. We will collect our reward here. How are the agents getting past our traps? Perhaps they figured out a way to get around them like we do. Don't be ridiculous. Without chips I put in your heads, you'd be in the shark tank. There are chips in our heads. Someone must have figured out how to make those chips. Someone clever. Okay, so we need to protect our global operation from new attack. Interrogate five agents and check their gadgets. All right, so we're going to capture some agents here. And uh, I guess we'll interrogate them and see what kind of gadgetry they're working with these days but i would like to launch another side story as well here so let's go into our objective side stories now we have quite a few um i don't think we've done any of the loot ones so i'd actually like 
to look into that. Let's do this one. I don't even know what this is. Your layer's power usage is making the heat inside unbearable, but you won't turn on the air conditioning. What are you made of money? Find a simpler solution. Okay, so rather than waste money on air conditioning, you've instead opted to steal a giant block of ice. All right, so we're gonna go and steal a giant block of ice. Um, that sounds that sounds like fun. What's this guy's deal? Afraid of dogs, utterly useless. Oh, his smarts are on the fritz. So um, we should probably update uh, their facility here at some point. Um, give them more uh, more productive means to replenish smarts and morale and vitality and all of that. All right, so here it is, uh, and a glacial place. So. Humber Glacier, located in Alaska, has been identified as your ideal source of ice. Deploy your climatology team to determine the choicest slice of glacier for your harvest. All right, and away we go. <laughs> you know, I I gotta say, I am pretty conflicted. I know it's just a game, but I don't know. Going after glaciers, <laughs> just... Uh, doesn't doesn't sit too well, I guess. I'm I'm sure it wouldn't with most people, but um, this is evil genius. So, what is happening? Nobody's happy. What what is going on in my base? I've got agents sneaking in. I've got employees trying to leave. They should be happy. I I don't know what's happening. I think it must be time to give them better facilities to relax. So let's have a look at what we currently have and see if we can um, make some improvements. Okay, so it looks like they've got these three EGTV places, but I know we've got better equipment for them. Yeah, we've got life drawing, we've got video games, so um, we might need to update this. Let's see, where can we do that? Um, let's see, we've got our communications room here. We've got locker space. Let's see, let's go down. Okay, so in the basement, level two, we've got a control room. Might have to do some organize, reorganization uh, between episodes here and make sure that our facilities are where they, they need to be because it'd be nice to have more recreational areas for the minions. Uh, and maybe we just need to do that on a per level basis, but uh, nobody seems to be using the facilities down here. Um, powers here. Yeah, I don't know. I think between episodes, I might do a little bit of cleanup and uh, consolidate some of these uh, different spaces, put the functions that we don't need lower down in the base and uh, give the minions a little bit more space to play. All right, so now we need to study the ice on the world stage. Main objective complete. The agents are using telepathic gadgets disguised as wristwatches. Your Anella, you've analyzed the code and used it to upgrade Void. You found the lab that made the watches abandoned, but a lunchbox left behind gave you scientist's name, Lena Lundstrom. Okay, so all the agents have new wristwatch gadgets. They seem to be communicators of some kind. Wristwatch, how elegant, no matter. I can reprogram Void to overwrite them. We could feed the microfilm code to Void on punch cards, obviously, and bring me the scientist responsible for those wristwatches. Finally, someone to match wits with me. All right, so we are going to capture an agent or a scientist on the world stage again. Um, but I was in the middle of doing my side story, which is studying ice. So let's continue to study ice. Where are we going to do that? Let's see. Over here. Yep, right there. So we will study ice, the frozen one. A creature is frozen within the icy depths of the Hubbard Glacier. Send a biologist to the site so you can confirm its nature. Maybe you've got a dinosaur on your hands. I like that be cool to have a dinosaur frozen in a block of ice. Okay, launching schemes. Uh, I'm going to take care of a little bit of this, and then uh, we'll move forward. I haven't heard an update on the Hubbard Glacier dig in a while. What's the delay? The heat is deathly. 
We've tried to cut around the Yeti, and it's just not working. Take more time to come up with a solution. Forget the Yeti. Just bring the ice here. I don't care what's frozen in it. But boss, is it a good idea to bring this creature straight into our base? What if the ice melts? That will never happen. And besides, you will have bigger problems than a Yeti if you don't do what I say. So we've got steal the ice and Yeti on the world stage. Okay. So we're going to, I guess there's a Yeti inside the block of ice. Let's see here. Um, at the same time, it looks like we need to resolve some threat, but uh, the Yeti is more important. So we will probably have the forces of justice showing up at our door for potentially stealing a Yeti. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. So looks like we need to upgrade our criminal network here before we can actually uh, go steal the uh, scientists in charge of creating those awesome wristwatch. So liberty, light shines through any darkness, which means we've got an agent in our base. So let's see where that might be happening. Uh, there they are. Okay. We'll slow things down and see if we can capture these folks. I'm going to get Iris over here. We've got muscle coming off of these training machines just right here, so that'll be helpful. Let's see, do we have them all tagged for capture? Uh, this one, no, okay. All right, so Iris is on the way. Uh, once she gets here, we will sound the alarm, but they are just taking out my minions. It's not good, it's not good. <laughs> all right, I don't know where Iris is, but... Um, the fight continues, body bags piling up. This is my training facility, so uh, definitely not an ideal place for people to show up and start uh, doing the fisticuffs. Minions uh, are not the strongest, but um, we will capture all of these agents and get this under control. It looks like, let's see, yeah, we've got one here as well, just taking out minions left and right. This is awful. Where are all the guards? Am I going to have to intervene? What's happening here? Oh my gosh, look at all the body bags. That is so many dead minions. That's that's not good. That's not good. Okay, well, um, in the meantime, we've uh, launched this scheme, and um, we're locked out of the region where we uh, acquired our Yeti. I don't know if, let's see, steal the Yeti on the world stage. Doesn't look like we've done that yet. So uh, let's see, where is the Yeti? Is it here? No? Let's see. I'm going to look for the Yeti. Hang on. Okay, so we found the Yeti. Uh, it turns out that uh, we need another technician. It's going to take 10 technicians. All right, all the cryptozoologists, very interesting and all, but we've got a layer to cool. Dispatch a team of grunts to cut free the slab of glacier and bring it back to your base, including its passenger. All right, so we're going to do that. That was quite a few uh, technicians, so we might want to up our technician game uh, back at the base. All right, we've got a new loot item. Uh, and I'm guessing it's that block of ice with a Yeti in it. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap this episode up. And in the next episode, we'll see um, what loot we have in store. But thank you again so much for spending some time with me. I am very grateful. If you would consider tickling those like and subscribe buttons, that would be awesome. Make sure that you're up to date and uh, get to see all the cool new videos. But um, we'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.